Good afternoon, this is Gary Gower reporting inside Cobo Center for the 59th Annual Autorama event here in downtown Detroit. The stated by Hobby is the Night Industry 2000, known as KIT, K-I-T-T, -T, from the original Night Rider. And speaking of Night Rider, there will be a third annual Night Rider Festival in Las Vegas, which was the exact location where the poly was shot back in 82. It's going to be next month, March 18th and 19th, here at, at, I think at Fremont Street, Las Vegas. Whoever I think who's going to be there is the creator, Glenn Lawson, Catherine Hicklin, some of the cast and the crew from the original series and the, the new one. And this, like I said, this original night, this original kit, which could go by 300 miles per hour in pursuit mode, could, it has the molecular bonded shell, could go turbo boost, and it has the artificial, artificial AI intelligence level, which is designed for the purpose of human life. So like I said, there will be the third annual Night Rider Festival at Las Vegas, March 18th and 19th at Fremont Street. And for more about it, go to nightriderfestival.com slash 2011. Again, that's www.nightriderfestival.com slash 2011. And also, we got the Echo One from the Ghostbusters, you know, those paranormal investigators dedicated to reading really the world of supernatural evil. There's a proton packs and proton packs. And we got the Red Tomato, the Grand Tour from Sasuke Hutch. And we got Chef Andy Taylor's car from the Andy Griffith Show. And let's see, we got the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard, those good old boys fighting the system as Monday Robin Hood. And we got the uh, Monkey Mobile and the Black Beauty. Stick around for more coverage at AmericaJR.com, Detroit's number one website. Hello again, this is Gary Guy reporting once again on the Rama. And I'm here with Christian, who's the owner of Kid here. So, Christian, how are you doing today? Great, great. Uh, all set up, ready for a good show, good weekend. Okay, now I say this is your first Auto Rama event here, correct? Yes, yes it is. I just moved here from Philadelphia not too long ago, so this is the first time I, I've been at Auto Rama. Now I understand, now this is the replica of the original kit, correct? Now how long did it took you to, like, uh, to, to, to construct this? Uh, it's actually been constructed over several years. I've owned the car for about 12 years. Started out as a regular 1983 Firebird I used as a daily driver. And my father and I began the conversion process uh, about uh, eight years ago. So little by little, um, I've been adding to it and changing some things. So actually, I just uh, recently finished it up a couple months ago. Okay. Now, what made you decide to co convert the Trans Am into into kid? What 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 inspired you to do this? Was it the series? I love the show. My dad and I used to watch the show when I was little and uh, big fans, and I always said I wanted a car like that when I got older. Yeah, well, and who, yeah, well who does, especially anybody want a car like you, kid, uh, the kid, the Grand Torino, the Black Beauty, the General Lee, but especially what, what made you pick kid? What made him stay now? It's nothing better than a talking car that can drive himself. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and the red light, I mean, it's very sleek and stylish and looks cool going down the road. Yeah. So, and uh, okay. the so, electronics in yeah, it, and the everything. technology, all that, yeah. like um, like for very six people will see SI, all that stuff, right? Yes, yeah. I mean, nowadays you have to, you know cars with GPS as they talk to you, but back then it was such a novel idea, and I was always into technology and computers. Yeah, that I'm, the combination of the two was really cool to me. Yeah, a lot of people thought life I was a lot was pretty much you know hokey, especially pretty much hokey guilty pleasure. But it, it, like you said, there was the technology, the GPS. You know, uh, it was like just an AI had a personality and a, a humanity into it. And a good sense of humor, too. Exactly. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out, this is the original from the first two seasons, correct? Before they, before they updated, you know, with the new dashboard, it, it, it followed you with SPM and the kit became convertible, correct? Yes. What made you go with that original mode? Uh, mainly because of the parts that were available. Uh, I also wanted a season two dash because of uh, the two monitors in it. I uh, wanted the functionality of two monitors, one to work as a backup camera, the other one to play, uh, you know, DVDs, clips of the series and everything. So okay. I wanted the functionality of the two TV dash from the second season. Okay. Now, you may not know this, but um, I, the, I read and know there's going to be a third Night Ryan Festival next month out in Vegas in Fremont Street. Yes. It, with, um, I think, the creator Glenn Larson, um, Captain Hicklin, um, Nick... I think it's the Nick Duke, the writer who wrote the Night Ride Companion. Now, is there any chance you and Kate gonna make that? You and this kid gonna make an appearance there? Uh, I doubt I'll be able to get my kit out there. It's quite of a long trip, and uh, you know, to trailer it, it would be very expensive. I did go out to the first two Night Rider conventions, and I'm gonna go back out this year to get a, a couple more autographs. I have my visors autographed 
uh, by the cast and crew and stuntmen from the past two years, and even David Hasselhoff has signed the visor. Okay, so yeah, he was a, he was there the last one, and it was about the first time he and Catherine saw each other or, or worked saw each other in decades. What was the so what did you get a chance to meet? What was he like, especially? despite what happened over the last few years? Uh, he was a really nice guy to meet. He's very tall. I was surprised at how tall he was in person. The man is all legs. But uh, yeah, it was really cool. He went up to uh, meet the fans and uh, sign anything that you know you wanted to have signed. That's why it was easier for me to just bring the visor out of the car um, because not many people had him actually go to their cars. It was If you brought something to him, he would sign it. But he was kind of in a hurry because he was also doing a reality show out there, out there at the same time. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Krista. Thank Enjoy you. yourself. And remember, remember the Night Ride Festival is on March 18th and 19th at Fremont Street in Las Vegas, which was the first place of the original, with the first place of the series where the pilot was shot. And for more, go to nightriderfestival.com slash 2011. Again, that's nightriderfestival.com slash 2011. This is Garrett Gowan. Stay tuned for more coverage of Autorama at the Choice Number website, AmericaJR.com. Hi, I'm, um, I'm back once again with the Echo One, and the guy who owned this is Mike here. How are you doing today? How are you doing? This is your first autorama here? First time exhibiting, yes. yes. So, what made you this, so what made you pick the Echo One as part to, to bring autorama? Uh, there's just something different, something unique. There's a lot of the same cars, the General Lees are all over the place, so something different, something unique. Okay, were you a fan of the Ghostbusters? Oh, movies? yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I just saw the Protop Pack and the. Um, what was it? What's it? Oh, the trap? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah was, is, that, is that is that movie memory being from the movie? No, that's just props I had done up for uh, just uh, decoration with the car. Okay. How long it took you to do to do the car and the props? We started. I want to say last year. We started in January. And we worked just weekends on it, and we got it done because we had to have it done in time for the Comic Con because Ernie Hudson was going to be there, so we had to have it done by May first. So we got it done just in time. So about four months. Okay, and, um, I, and I'm trying to figure out what else. I just said you're going to be showing this car, and you got, got a car right here that, um, car right here that, um, say, who you going to call, correct? Say, so make a special appearance. Can, can, you, can you put this out? You can email them at motorcityrealrides at gmail.com. So, so tell us what you're going to do if, you make it, if we called you. You can hire us out. We can take you to the prom. We can take you around town. We can take you out for your birthday. Where do you want to go? Or, but you, but you're not, but you are not available or proficient to catch ghosts, right? No, I, I have no experience catching ghosts whatsoever. Okay, well. The, but no fees too big. No and job too small. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. All right, man. Well, thank you so much, okay, Mike. No Enjoy problem. yourself. Hi, uh, hi, welcome back. Standing by, say in front of me is the Black Beauty, which recently was here last month for the North American National Auto Show to promote the movie The Green Hornet, which was based on the radio television series, which was start, which starred Seth Rogen, which he co-wrote and co-wrote, uh, and he co-starred Cameron Diaz and Jay Cho. The movie is based on, based on, like I said, the movie is based on the radio and television series about the grand nephew of the legendary Lone Ranger. The film recently opened number one on Martin Luther King weekend and it's become the highest grossest superhero comedy, action comedy with Kick-Ass coming in second. It recently, FX has picked up, the, picked up the movie to air sometime maybe early, next year or early 2013. And um, recently, Sci-Fi just did another marathon of the original Green Hornet series with Van Williams and the late Bruce Lee, which lasted one season but the, sh the show, but the show has a cult following due to due to Bruce Lee, who created them, who set the standard for martial arts genre with uh, Fist of Fury and Return the Legend Enter the Dragon. So um, this is the Black Beauty here making another appearance here in Detroit, and um, the Green. Ho so catch the Green Hornet wherever you can on um, reruns and marathons on the Sci-Fi Channel, and catch the movie in theaters right now. So check out more coverage of Autorama at AmericaGI.com, Detroit's number one website.